Well, hello, YouTube family. Sure has been a while, hasn't it? Uh, and it feels that way because it actually has been quite a while. I think the last video that I did that I published here to YouTube was back in August, and that was the Elven Lighthouse that I did. Um, so circumstances have led to the fact that I just haven't made time to come on and do YouTube videos. So I guess what we'll catch up on here today is uh, let you know what I've been doing for the past several months. Uh, I promise you I haven't been idle, so I'm not a lazy bastard, but uh, but maybe about the YouTube part of it, I have been a bit of a lazy bastard. Um, going back to August then, so let's pick up from where we left off. I participated in an Alberta GT, so the way that this was structured was throughout the year leading up to there, from the various tournaments that you took part in, you accumulated points which would qualify you for that. Uh, I did qualify for that um, by virtue of winning one earlier in the year in March and also by accumulating other points with marginal finishes in other events along the way. So the GT itself was a two-day event that had six games. Each of those six games was from the Warhammer rulebook scenarios, but then modified a little bit. So they weren't exactly straight out of the book. They had a little twist to them. Um, for instance, the Watchtower one just awarded 750 points. So so a big swing, let's be honest, uh, for holding the Watchtower. Um, the Another one was the Battle for the Pass one. And although you still went and twisted the board 90 degrees and deployed opposite one another that way, there was a few bonuses such as you could choose to have longer range on your shooting um, if you were a defending side um, or to have a, a vanguard move with, with some guys that you otherwise wouldn't be able to. Um, so a few twists that way. Anyway, throughout the two days, the way that that all came out of the wash is that uh, I uh, finished sixth overall. Out of that so I guess I can be happy about about that sixth overall out of a whole tournament series through Alberta for the year um, not that that's ultimately my goal um, good pal of mine Matthew Reeson was the ultimate winner of that so congratulations go out to him and uh, I know he's very proud of his performance with his vampire accounts and if you haven't seen his channel um, he's pretty much heavily dedicated to vampire account battle reports um, so that's something you should certainly go go look at if you are either a current or aspiring vampire or vampiress. Really recommend that. Um, now, moving beyond that, sort of took a bit of a gaming hiatus. I think that uh, myself and, and a few other guys that were, that were doing tournaments with regularity once or even twice a month um, kind of took that as the pinnacle of it and the wrap-up and the culmination of the season. So kind of took a little bit of time off from, from gaming. Um, that also coincided a little bit in September is when basketball season begins for me. Now I'm both currently playing, even though I may look old, I still play some basketball, and, uh, and also referee basketball. So that dedicates four, sometimes five evenings of my week to, to basketball. And that's been pretty steady from September through till now. Um, on a little bit of a break for the for the holidays here in December. Um, but in the meantime, as I alluded to earlier, I really haven't been idle. I've, I've been painting Skaven. That's what I've gotten back into. Um, and uh, pretty steady with them. Um, I'm going to show some pictures up here as we go here in a second. And then I'll kind of narrow it and talk you through my process about what I've been doing with that. So a uh, quick break, and we'll be back to that in a second. Well, well, so here it is, the humble beginnings of the Skaven, which I acquired way back, uh, over a year ago, actually. Now, to talk about the color palette that we've done here, Averland Sunset is the main cloth color. I've done the fur for these rats in the deeper gray, which I've highlighted up. And then Screaming Bell is the key color for the armor. Here's the first test model subject that I did. And then began hammering away at loads and loads of clan rats. Um, overall, I did 75 of them, and I really kept going because they were still interesting to me. They were still exciting to do. So I just kept at it while the motivation was there. Then I found that I was able to stay with it, even though after doing 75, I realized there's probably another 100 of these infantry base models to do. But uh, I feel confident that I'll come back to them. 
Now the one key thing that you'll see there that I really liked was the verdigris on the armor which came together here. Really pretty simple this verdigris. After the scream and bell coat goes down for the armor I made up my own concoction of hawk turquoise watered down with a little bit of medium and washed it over the whole thing. It dulls it out and it uh, it really comes through and I think that you can maybe be able to see it a little bit sharper on these uh, poison wind globe deers that I did here. Uh, really happy with it and especially happy because it's easy and I gotta do lots of these. And then the crown jewel of the Skaven Empire, the mighty doom wheel. Uh, as you can tell, or you might be able to tell, I love this model. Uh, I think it's so characterful. It exhibits all the contraption craziness that the Skaven do. Uh, the little rats running around inside. Uh, beautiful. Loved it. And I'm going to do more. This is the first one, but, uh, but I'm sure I'll do more. I've done a few weapon teams as well. As you can see here, a couple of poison wind mortars. And uh, then also that came in the Island of Blood, some warp fire throwers, which are probably more useful. But we'll see how they go. And then even a more rare sight, which you probably hardly ever see on a battlefield, the Doom Flayer. Well, he's not even based yet, but he will be. I'll use this guy. Hopefully he'll be equally good. After that, I finally had to face it and do some heroes for this. I had this Thanklaw model lying around for quite a few years, actually. And I just hadn't done him, so I took that chance. And here's the Battle Standard Bear, which I did some freehand rattiness on the banner itself that I stole from the Doom Wheel. Um, had a couple goes at this. It was a bit of a struggle, probably about 8 to 9 hours altogether. But I'm happy with that finish. Now, most recently, it's been Storm Room, and I've done 30 of these guys now. Um, they were a little tricky to rank up, so that was the struggle here, more so than the painting. But I carried over all the same principles from the Clan Rats to them. But, of course, they're a little bit bigger and more imposing. And then there's their Banner Bearer, standing proudly. So it's been good, and this is how the Skaven look right now. Oh, I should first say that that Hell Pit Abomination you see in the back corner was not painted by me. That was done by the guy that I got this army from, so I don't want to take credit where it's not due. But uh, it's been a good run here. This is a few months worth work, I guess, August through December, and it probably totals to more than 1,500 points, although I haven't really done a thorough math, um, and still eager to do more. Uh, currently on the paint table, I got two Warp Lightning Cannons that are mostly done. I have a screaming bell that's here handy, and uh, rat overs. I think I got a dozen of those that I could be painting. Uh, I also need to make some gutter runners. I'll probably make them out of other bits that I got. Got a couple of heroes I should do, and then of course loads more infantry. I'm sure I have more than a hundred models to do either clan rats or slaves from, and I do have 20 more storm vermin as well. Um, also some plague monks. I don't know if I'm going to do the plague monks. I own them, but Anyway, we'll see. Either way, still enthusiastic about Skaven. Looking forward to building them up, and that'll be a big part of 2014 for me. So, folks, I guess that gets us caught up a little bit on what's been going on the past few months. I uh, hope you enjoyed seeing what's currently in the works. Um, I may do some more detailed Skaven videos uh, on the process and, and, and what I'm painting if I can get some better photography. I think that that's letting me down a little bit. I'm going to learn more about that and how to do it properly. And if I'm successful, then you'll be the recipients of it. Um, I do plan to do another video too. It's sort of like a, a little bit of a hobby wrap up or diary of the 2013 year. So I hope to get myself on that while I have time over the holidays and put that together. And also on there, I intend to talk about some hobby goals for 2014 as well. Um, on that one, maybe in the meantime, think about what your hobby goals will be for 2014 and we'll uh, discuss that a little bit on the next video. Anyway, good to be back. See you guys again soon.